It's not every day you find a CEO without a laptop or desktop computer on their desk. Esther Mushemi, CEO of Samchi Group, however, prefers to run her empire from her mobile phone. After all, telecoms is the name of her game, a venture she started 18 years ago. I started Samchi Telecommunication uh, those many years ago as one shop and today, that one shop, whose first employee, I always say was me, has now grown to four companies in the telecommunication industry. We have gone into microfinance, we have gone to hospitality, we are in Leo Estate. Esther became the first to transact with M-Pesa in Kenya, holding the till number 0001 as a pioneer agent on the mobile money platform. So what prompted Esther to leave her 16-year career as an auditor to take an early bet on Safaricom that too was getting its start 18 years ago? I didn't have a full understanding of what it was. For me, what I was looking for is a business opportunity now that I've left my audit firm and that was it at that particular moment. An opportunity that paid off seeing Samchi Group become Kenya's biggest telecommunication dealership and whose interests extend into real estate, microfinance and hospitality. Despite Samchi's success that has earned a host of awards and accolades for Esther, she never forgets her humble beginnings, where she learned her two guiding principles on honesty and integrity. I went to Kahuya Girls. That's where I finished my fourth form. After my fourth form, and by the way, I was the best student in my fourth form exam. After that, I went for my sixth form again in Western, in Mukumu Girls. Those are just ordinary school. Common school that every common village girl can attend. After that, I went to the University of Nairobi. And so that depicts a life of a common girl going to common primary school, to common secondary school, to common university, and here I am today. But Esther doesn't live just for today. She's constantly thinking about the legacy she wants to leave behind. It is no wonder the company name is a combination of her two children's names. Many companies never go beyond the first generation. By the time they go to the second generation, a good percentage of them are not there. And therefore, it, is, it pains me when I see great empires coming to a knot when the owner is no longer there. And therefore, we are purpose, I am purposely and deliberately working on a succession plan, not only using my children, but also using the people that work for me. And my call is that many of us, especially the African entrepreneurs, think for their empires now when they can guide, because long when they are gone, it may be too late. Part of that legacy, Esther has left in the pages of her book, Give Me My Mountain, which she hopes inspires more women to find their place and voice in Kenya's entrepreneurial space and beyond.